Network Security Monitoring Test Part 2. We know what we want to achieve. Please make sure you watch the previous video. We want to test the Nagios server. And to do that, I am going to copy a file from this server that is over here. It will go to call one and call one is going to send it down to 172.16.1.21. That should be more than enough to trigger at least at least these two links. What I'll show you what I, I'm doing at the moment. For me the easiest way to, to catch that and to test it, I always like to create a big file, one big file. On the server I have I have a backup running and I just sorted everything here by size and I'm putting everything in a zip file. Ooh, one hour. Right. Well, hope it will be faster than that to put it in a zip file. I'm not sure if there is win WinRAR here. Do I have WinRAR here? No, I don't. Well, it's just... Why is it going to take one hour and nine minutes to zip 10 files? Come on, Windows. What do you want from me? Ugh. Okay. I, I just changed my mind. I will do that on on that PC and will copy that to the server. It doesn't change anything, but this PC is much faster and I have an SSD drive on it that should speed it up. Give me a moment. I found a few images for my servers. No, that's not a cracked version, guys. No, I have an MSDN account, so please do not call Microsoft. What, again, what I like to do, I like to put that in a zip file or in a WinRAR file. And WinRAR is much better because what you can do, that's a tip of the day, what you can do, you can use the first option, store. And it's not going to compress anything because we don't really want to compress, right? We don't want that. We want to have this file really big. And it will make it much faster as well. Please note five minutes and we'll have, I don't know, 10 gigabytes. It's done. Now let me connect to the server. I will open a shared drive. Where can I copy that? Yeah, let me just... Let's check my document. Now, let's check the Nagios server first, right? We want to make sure everything is okay. Let's refresh that. Okay, all looks good. That's okay. Well, it's not okay, but uh, that's a server. On our switches, everything is in green. That's what we want. It's time to copy that file. And that is a good way to test your local area network as well. Well, be not the best. Windows is not. It's not a good world. Well, okay, I will not complain about Microsoft Windows operating systems now. We are getting around 10 megabytes per second. Yeah, that's okay. It is very close to 100 megabits per second. That's what we expected. It will take about 24 minutes. I will I will let it finish 
that should be enough for Nagus to trigger some alerts. I think it's time to check. Let's go to Nagus. Where is it now? Where is Nagus? Here. Where is it? Come on. Okay. Here we go. Warning. Right? 81 megabits per second. 9? Yeah, that's times 8. That will give you around 80 megabits per second. That is an ether channel to call one on on an HP switch. That's the ether channel. And a link down to the HP switch number two. Oh, uh, what's that? Oh, that's, that's a member. Right. Okay, fair enough. Everything else is okay, right? Again, it is really important to make a test like that, right? Make sure that you that you test it, that you verify all these things if possible. This is a, a really easy test. You can copy a file from one server to another it takes a few minutes and you will see Nagus reporting all these messages, right? Of course, it makes sense to to check your emails or phone. It all depends how you how you decided to set it up. Maybe you, you wanted an email to be sent. Make sure that that you received that as well. In this video, we talked about network security monitoring and I showed you how you can test monitoring solutions. Thank you very much.